guys. So today I'm gonna show you guys 10 things you can stuff your paper squishies with. So coming in at number one is polyfill stuffing. This is found in Walmart, but if you don't have a Walmart where you live, you can find it at any craft store or maybe Amazon if you have that. And so it's used for toys, dolls, pillows, and crafts. So I get this one and it's super, super good for squishies. And this is what I stuff all of my squishies with. So basically all of these squishies I filled with the stuffing and they're super airy and slow rising. Let's see another one, look at this one. So yeah, it's really, really slow rising when you use the stuffing. The second thing you can use to stuff your squishies that I recommend are plastic bags. Now I got these from a grocery store and they were the first thing that I used before I used the cotton stuffing. So these I really recommend if you're starting off or you just don't have anything better. So. For these three squishies, I stuffed them with plastic bags, and as you can see, they're not as slow rising like the stuffing ones, but they're still pretty squishy. These are like obviously flat, but they're very squishy for when you start or you just don't have anything. If you put the right amount, it'll feel super squishy, and it's super good to stuff your squishies with. The next thing is toilet paper and paper towels. These count like separately, but I'm gonna put it together. So you can use toilet paper to stuff your squishies and paper towels, and you can also use napkins. So these are great because they're like very soft, but you'll have to put a lot of it. So make sure you ask your parents if you have permission to use it. Um, so yeah. You can stuff these and I'll show you guys how they squish on the squishies. I just opened up this squishy and I'm just going to take all of the stuffing out. Like that. See, it's empty. Now we're going to stuff it up with paper towels and toilet paper and napkins. So here's a paper squishy that I stuffed with napkins, toilet paper, and paper towels. And here's how it squishes. Obviously, it's not the most slow rising like with the stuffing, but it's honestly pretty good for like really convenient supplies. It's a little bit squishy. So the fourth thing you can use are cotton balls. Now, cotton balls I've never used in my squishies, but a lot of people tell me that it's pretty good. So you can either put your cotton ball straight into the squishy or you can do the second thing. But first, let's just add it inside the squishy. Okay guys, so this is how the squishy turned out. It's actually really squishy. I've never tried it with cotton balls, but I would really recommend it. Although cotton balls are like pretty expensive if you buy them, but make sure to ask permission if you're gonna buy it, but it's super, super squishy. I recommend you guys try it if you don't have stuffing. So this is a really great alternative and it's pretty slow rising. Okay guys, so the second way with the cotton balls is basically to get a clear Ziploc bag and stuff your bag with the cotton balls. First, get all the air in, or not all of it, but just a little bit. Then just like press on it a little bit. And then you're going to want to get a pencil or something sharp and just poke little holes in it so the air can escape through. Then it'll be super slow rising with just the plastic bag as you can see here and then you're done it's a little less squishy but it depends on how many 
You could put two bags or one bag filled with cotton balls. But this is how it is. It's really, really squishy. And I think it's a great alternative if you don't have stuffing. The next thing is plastic trash bags. Now, trash bags work great because they're similar to the normal plastic bags. But these are bigger and they're like more, I don't know, they're more soft. So you can also use these and make sure to always ask permission. Okay guys, so this is how the squishy turned out. It's super, super slow rising guys. And then again, I haven't tried this one, but it's actually really, really squishy. I definitely recommend you guys try it if you don't have any of the other supplies. This is another great option. So yeah, it's super, super squishy. I could have added one more, but I don't have any. So yeah you can use is probably what you guys all have at home is newspapers now these are pretty like hard because they're kind of thick but you can use it as stuffing because you can crumble it up and it'll squish so let's fill up our squishy Okay guys, so this is how the squishy turned out. It's really, really hard and it's not slow rising. But if this is the only thing you have, I think it's a great starting point. But this is how it looks when you put newspaper in it. I mean, it's not the most squishy or the most slow rising, but I think it's pretty good to start off with. Seventh thing you can use are sponges. Now, maybe, Ask your mom if you can use these or your dad, but these are pretty squishy because, look, it's super slow rising like this. Make sure not to pop the bag if you're putting a bag in it, but look how slow rising it is. So let's go fill up our squishy and see how it squishes. So I just finished stuffing it with the sponges and i've never tried this before this is my first impressions on trying the sponge and it's actually really really squishy it might not be too slow rising if you want it to be more slow rising you could probably get a plastic bag trap the air and put the sponges in it and then stuff your squishy if you want it to be more slow rising but this one's actually really really nice it's super squishy maybe you'll ask for sponges on your birthday oh it, wow this is very very squishy i omg this is so soft it's not so rising but you can make it so rising with a plastic bag and also you can also get the sponges and cut them up into pieces or you could just leave them like this and just stuff it in number eight is old fabric old fabric is really soft obviously so maybe you can use like old socks or old t-shirts anything made with fabric so here i have a bag of felt you can also use felt as stuffing so like felt or old fabrics like this i think it would be really soft to squish if you're gonna throw it away Okay guys, so here is the squishy with the fabrics. I think I could have done a little less because it's kind of like too um, big, but I think this is pretty soft. If you want more of like a stress one that you can like squish and it's pretty hard. Some people like their squishies harder and some people like their squishies like softer. So I think this is a good one if you want your squishy to be pretty like hard but like still very squishy the last two things i don't have with me right now but you guys can totally try it at your house or anywhere you're at 
So basically the last two things are yarn and memory foam. Now memory foam I don't really recommend to my followers on TikTok because first of all it's hard to find but it is in pillows like the stuffing but it's harder to find so I don't really recommend um, uh, memory foam but if you have it definitely do it because that one's really good and you can also use yarn now yarn is really soft and if you put a lot of it in a squishy it would be really really slow riding so those were all of my ideas for today guys hopefully they were helpful to some of you because a lot of you comment down on my tiktok what can we stuff our squishies with what do you use so hopefully at least one of these ideas helped you see you guys in the next video bye